Hi there, I'm Tom from Tech Radar. Now, the Mavic Air is the latest drone to come out from DJI, uh, alongside the very successful Mavic Pro and Spark. Now, this is a very compact and incredibly user-friendly drone, and it allows you to record 4K footage at up to 30 frames per second. Now, in terms of cost, this is reasonably affordable at £769 for the basic package. However, if you pay £949, you can get the Fly More combo, now this we recommend for extra flight time as it includes more batteries and accessories. Comparing price against other drones, the Mavic Pro from DJI is £1,099, which is a little bit more expensive. However, it does have a longer range and it's better in low light. The little brother, the DJI Spark, is £449, much cheaper. However, this is only in high definition. Moving on to design, it's got a compact form factor and fits into a large pocket. Weighing in at 430 grams, it's lighter than the Mavic Pro, but heavier than the Spark. The drone has a recessed gimbal, which comes with a clip-on cover, which offers a level of protection, but can be a little bit awkward to clip back on. You can pick it up in three colours, white, red and black. The latter two are fingerprint magnets. In terms of storage, there's an SD card slot for you to put in your own memory card. However, what is really great is the internal 8GB of memory. This means that if you fill up your cards with 4K footage, you can just switch over to the internal memory and get that last shot. It comes with a redesigned controller, which is foldable and well built, and it has removable joysticks for portability. The controller doesn't have a screen, so you will need to use your own phone. It works with my iPhone 10 pretty well, however, due to the lack of the home button, it caused a few issues. As for what it's like to fly, the setup on this thing is really simple. Just follow the on-screen instructions to connect, either via Wi-Fi or the controller. This thing is really fast. If you put it in sports mode, it can achieve speeds of up to 68.4 kilometers per hour. That said, at these speeds, the propellers can creep into the shot. It's also got improved obstacle avoidance, great for novices. Thanks to its seven camera video system and three direction environmental sensing, it will be relatively difficult to crash and will feel like it's working autonomously at times. DJI promises that it can work in winds of up to 35 kilometers per hour. We found this fairly accurate. However, the app does give you a warning message when you go too high in strong winds. The Mavic Air is limited to four kilometers of transmission. Compare this to the Mavic Pro at 7km, it's not quite as good with range. However, with the Spark, you only get 2km. So the drone features a 3-axis gimbal for the camera. This allows for really smooth movement and also smooth panning. However, if you want to tilt the camera up and down, which you use a wheel on the back of the controller, it can be a little bit jerky. The gesture controls, first introduced on the Spark, are back better than ever. Now, diving into the app itself, there are multiple different shooting modes that you can have. Active Track allows you to track up to 16 subjects at a time. It works fairly accurate and is great for lone shooting. In essence, it's almost like walking a dog. Quick Shot allows you to pull off many different types of cinematic movements without needing any drone skills. Have the drone circle around you, have it zoom right into the sky, or most exciting, the Asteroid Mode. Talking about the image quality, it's got the same sensor as the Mavic Pro, but it isn't quite as good in low light. It can capture Ultra HD footage up to 30 frames per second, 2.5K at 60 frames, and Full HD at 120 frames per second. The dynamic range and quality of the camera is somewhat comparable to a modern day smartphone. It's detailed, it's sharp, some might say too sharp if you look closely at the fine details like the grass, however it's a pretty clean image. The drone can also take 12 megapixel stills and 32 megapixel panoramas. The flight time of one battery is only 21 minutes, which doesn't sound like much, and it really isn't. However, drones do suck up a lot of battery, so 21 minutes is actually fairly reasonable for something this size. The Mavic Pro, however, has six minutes more, but realistically, you'll get about 18 to maybe 19 minutes at most. It lands automatically when the battery's at 10%, and gives you a warning when you're at 15%. Wrapping up, the Mavic Air definitely isn't cheap, but it's great value for money. The specs are great for how small this drone is. Ultra HD at 30 frames per second, pretty good. It's also intelligent with obstacle avoidance and quick shot modes. 
And did I mention this thing fully folded up is incredibly portable? It's definitely worth the price bump over the Spark if you consider stability, resolution and size. If range and low light ability is important to you, then spend a little bit more money and get the Pro.